Or should I say Mr. Start? See you later, Nick Fury! I think he just rolled his eyes at me. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Marvel Science, Spider-Man Web Creator Lab. We can create amazing webs like Spider-Man. I can't wait to play with this set. We can learn a little bit about Spider-Man's webs and real spider webs. The back has the instructions. Here's a top and bottom plate to make multiple webs. We get a web injector. This Spider-Man beaker. A web extractor. And here's the web creator lab base. I feel like Peter Parker already! To begin, we need to place one of the matching web plates into the web creator lab base. We'll start with the large web plate. Next, it's time to choose one of the gels. We can make a sticky web or a stretchy web. Let's go with the sticky web first. Just place one packet into the beaker and fill it up with some hot water. It takes about 5 minutes for the gel to liquefy. While you're waiting, insert the web injector into the injection port. Nice! The gel is liquefied! We can now squeeze the gel into the injector. Insert the plunger and gradually press down until the web cavity is full. Whoa! This is pretty awesome! We can all be Spider-Man now and fight some crime. Now we have to wait about 30 minutes for the web to solidify. Alright, let's check out this web. That's pretty sticky. You can use the web extractor to carefully remove the web. And here's the sticky web. You could actually attach this to your window. Let's practice our web throwing skills. For the sticky webs, Spider-Man uses a blob-like form of his web fluid to cover a weapon so it can't be used. That's pretty neat. Let's make some more webs by using this multiple web plate. This time, I'll use the stretchy web gel. Another cool thing about this set is that you can reuse your web gel. All you have to do is place the used web in the beaker and then place the beaker into a bowl with hot water. After that, just wait for the gel to reliquify again and it'll be good as new.
here's Spider-Man's web ball. A web ball is created when a thick piece of web comes out quickly from the web shooter. This is a stretchy web. Spider-Man flings this at the villains. And this is a web net. It's almost like a suction cup. Spider-Man could cling onto this or use it to catch the bad guy. Making webs was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we'll be opening up 8 different types of mashems. Let's start by opening up the My Little Pony mashem. Nice! We got Pinkie Pie! Isn't she cute? Now let's open up the Ninja Turtle Mashem. He has an orange band. Can you guess who he is? Yep, it's Michelangelo. Cool. Now let's open up this Hello Kitty Mashem. We got a nightmare Hello Kitty. She looks really scary. But once you start playing with her, she looks really funny. Now let's open up this Marvel Mashem. Awesome! We got the Hulk! Now we'll open up the other My Little Pony Mashem. Cool! We got Pinkie Pie again! We have twins! Now let's open up the Ninja Turtle Mashem.
It's a purple mask. Can you guess who that is? Yep, it's Donatello. Now let's open up the other Hello Kitty Mashem. Cool! We got Hello Kitty in a suit! She looks really professional. Now let's open up the last Marvel Mashem. We got Captain America. and then three markers in our larger gear. I'm loving this toy so far. If you guys agree, give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's check it out. Nice, this one's super colorful too. Do you guys remember how the box says it comes with a bonus design? Well, here it is. It has all different kind of designs on it. Let's do the star. We'll just fill this in. Nice, that stencil works pretty well. And then we'll do these dots. Here's our third one. And our fourth one. And last but not least, here's our fifth one. Ew, those are some perfect circles. This set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you five Marvel Avenger mashems. Let's start by opening up the first one. We got Captain America. Cool. You can squeeze these mashems around like this. Now let's open up the second one. We got Hawkeye.
Isn't that funny? Now let's open up the third one. We got Captain America again. Two squishy Captain Americas. Now let's open up the fourth one. We got Thor. This is what Thor would look like if he's squishy. He's no demigod in this one. Now let's open up our last mashems. Awesome! We got Wolverine! But his claws are squishy. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Marvel Avengers 5-piece nesting doll set, which is pretty much stacking cups. The back of the box, we have Earth's Mightiest Heroes. These heroes will also teach us about size in a fun way. Here's Hulk. Thor Captain America Iron Man and Nick Fury Alright, let's learn about different sizes Nick Fury is extra small Iron Man is small. Captain America is medium. Floor is large. And Hulk is huge! Wow, he made quite an entrance. Now let's stack each hero by size. We'll go from smallest to biggest. Iron Man just ate Nick Fury.
Now everyone's in Hulk's belly! If you look at Thor's facial expression, he doesn't seem too happy about it. Hmm. Oh, what's this? We got a surprise! It's Daisy Duck! You can hang her on your Christmas tree! Ooh! Hulk has a surprise too! We got Skittles and a Kinder Surprise Egg! We got this cool dragon flyer. I feel like you would see this in Mulan. Thumbs up if you like that movie. Nice! Thor has some Skittles and Mickey Mouse. Hey Mickey! Orange Skittles, and it's Gary from SpongeBob SquarePants. Of course, Iron Man would have a super nice car. Here's Lightning McQueen. They're both matching in colors! There's actually one more surprise from Nick Fury! It's Scott Squibbles from Monsters University, but most people know him as Squishy! Give these heroes a round of applause! I know it's sad, but it's time for these heroes to go! Bye Hulk! See you later, Thor! He doesn't want to go either! Goodbye, Captain America! Whoa! No need to kick me! Bye, Iron! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks!
Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you 10 Fashions and Mashem Surprise Toys. I can't wait to see what we get. The first one we're going to be doing is a My Little Pony Surprise Toy. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six different characters we can collect. I just hope we get two different ones. Oh, I recognize this one. This one's name is Pinkie Pie. You can tell by her balloon symbol and her beautiful pink hair. <laughs> She's awfully squishy. Alrighty. On to our second one. We've gotten Pinkie Pie. Let's try for a different one. Cross your fingers, everyone. Oh, this one's purple. Oh, hi, Princess Twilight Sparkle. All hail Princess Twilight Sparkle, ruler of the Friendship Rainbow Kingdom. She's super cute and has a little unicorn horn. Okay, you guys ready for our Flappy Bird surprise toy? I sure am. There's six different colors we can collect. A green one, blue and green, all blue, yellow, red, and orange. I love the game Flappy Bird. Give this video a thumbs up if you do too. And let me know in the comments what your high score was. Oh, it looks like a yellow one. Whoa, it's awfully stretchy. His head is so squishy. Let's do another one. I hope we get a different color. Oh no, another yellow one. Looks like we have some twins on our hands. Time to do another kind. This one's Hello Kitty. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds we can collect. I know Halloween's over, but Hello Kitty's gonna be dressed up in different animal costumes. Let's see what she decided to wear first. Rawr. She's a tiger. A squishy tiger. She still has a red bow on though. How cute is she? Time to do our second one. I hope this one's a different animal. Oh, and it is. She's a little bear in this one. How cute! She has some really great costumes. Did any of you guys dress up as animals for this Halloween? Time to do our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's six characters you can collect. Shredder, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and one of Shredder's foot soldiers. Let's see who's in this first one. Oh, it's a turtle. Let's see which one. It's Raphael. You can tell by his red mask. He looks pretty angry. He is known to have quite a temper. Oh, look at his little shell back there. Raphael looks like he's ready to kick some butt. All right, so let's do a recap. We have Raphael, and there's five other ones we can collect. It's one of Shredder's foot soldiers. These guys are super dangerous. But don't worry, Raphael's here. Get him. This is one intense battle. Go, Raphael. Here's our last kind of surprise toy. This one's frozen. I really hope we get a little Olaf. Or an Elsa. 
I just love the movie Frozen. I've probably seen it like five times. How about you guys? It's baby Sven! Oh, he's just so cute. Look at his little horns. He's just a baby now, but when he grows up, he's gonna be able to pull heavy sleds. And here's our last one. Whoops, <laughs> he got away from me. We have Sven. Let's see what's in this one. Come on, Olaf. Olaf, 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 Olaf. Yes, it is Olaf. Oh, look how cute baby Olaf is. Oh, come here, baby Olaf. He has kind of a concerned look on his face. Cheer up, Olaf. Boop. Here's everything we got out of our surprise toys. I think it's pretty impressive we only got one twin. These surprise toys are always so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here. And I know you guys know where those golden arches are. It's from McDonald's. Today we're gonna do some Happy Meal magic using this french fry snack maker. And yep, we can actually eat it. And it's super easy to use too. All you need is bread and cinnamon sugar. I love french fries so I can't wait to get started. Ooh, it looks like we have some stickers. This is gonna be the label for our machine and our french fry containers. This is our crust cutter. And here's a 55 cent coupon for Wonder Bread. We're gonna need Wonder Bread to make our french fries. Here's a bag of accessories. First we have our cinnamon sugar shaker. And two french fry containers. And here's our french fry maker. This is the base for our machine. And here are the instructions. It shows us how to put the machine together and on the right side we have some recipes. Let's start assembling our machine. It's super easy. All we do is snap on the top part and we're pretty much done. Oh, and we can't forget about the stickers. The larger sticker goes right in here. And the smaller stickers go in each of the french fry containers. Here's the second one. Time to fill up these containers. The base holds our french fry containers. So the two ingredients we need to make these french fries are Wonder Bread and cinnamon sugar. Let's fill the shaker up with cinnamon sugar. Mmm, it smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Next, we're gonna need some bread. There we go. Now we'll use our handy crust cutter and then press down. Once that's done, we just peel off the crust. And we're good to go. See how the bread has this creased edge? That's the side we're gonna put down first. We pop it in just like a toaster, and then we spin. Whoa, they actually look like french fries. Well, shaped like them at least. Mmm, here's our french fries. 
This machine was super easy to use! So the instructions say to fold the bread in half and then start tucking it in the container. Yum! It really looks like McDonald's french fries, doesn't it? But it still needs the cinnamon sugar. I went ahead and cut another piece of bread so we can do the other container. Here comes the french fries! Give this video a thumbs up if you love McDonald's french fries! Let's start packing it with french fries! More fries, more fries, more fries! And here's our extra, extra small french fry! It still needs cinnamon sugar! Now for the important part, the taste test. Mmm, mmm, it kind of tastes like French toast without the toasty part, but still really good. I'm really craving McDonald's french fries now. I think I'm gonna go get some. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Monster Rocker! Shock and roll, everybody! This is fun! Okay. Here's the body. This looks like a scientist. Oh, I'll need to attach both of these to make the head. I don't know what he's holding, but I don't want to go near it. This is crazy scientist. It's a good thing we have a Lego mad scientist. He can keep these monsters in check. Let's see who's next. This looks pretty familiar. Yep. It's Monster Rocker again! It looks like we have twins who'll be shocking and rolling together! Uh-oh! Double trouble! We have two crazy scientists! This Halloween's gonna be pretty deadly! Oh, this is a new one! I think it's a pirate. It's got a wooden leg. And a hook hand. Whoa! I don't want to mess with this guy. This is Zombie Pirate! He can be the captain of our monster army! Let's check out who our last monster is! <laughs> Another familiar face! I don't even know if this is a saying, but we might have a triple trouble! We have three monster rockers! Be sure to wear earbuds this Halloween! Well, this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.
Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Magic Owase Jelly. It's another Japanese do-it-yourself candy kit. I can't wait to find out what sweet magic creation we make today. Here's packet number three, two, and one. We get a spoon, and here's the tray we'll be using. Now that our tray's cut up, let's get started. We'll first need to pour some water into the smaller tray, right up to that line. Pour in packet number one, and use the spoon to give it a good mix. Now that that's finished, let's move on to the bigger tray. Pour water up to this line. And now we'll need to pour in packet number two. Use the spoon to give this a good mix. Once you get to this thick, creamy texture, you can stop mixing. Get the small tray from before and mix it into the big tray. Give it a mix and watch it change color. This part is pretty awesome. You should get a bluish purple color. Let's pour water into the small tray again. And we'll pour our last packet into here. Mmm, this smells like green apple. Give it a mix. and pour this in the large tray as well. Whoa! This looks pretty interesting. It kinda looks like a wet styrofoam or a jelly brain. What do you guys think it looks like? Alright, let me give this a try. Mmm. It definitely has a spongy texture, and you get a grape taste. The aftertaste is very sweet too. This candy is yummy! Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney Toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you a crazy art set. This one's called Crazy Spyro Spinner. We're going to be using the machine to make crazy designs. I can't wait to get started! Oh, cool! It comes with a bonus design set! Here's the back of the box! Whoa! Look at all these different things we can make! I love playsets that allow you to be creative! Ooh, that frame looks pretty cool! So here's the base of our playset! And this piece holds our paper! This playset comes with a bunch of pieces of paper we can use! We just tuck it right in here! and then put our next piece on top. 
all the ridges on this ring is what's going to connect to our gears. Here's our first gear. Let's add an orange marker. We just press it in one of these holes until you hear a click. And I think orange would go good with green. And how about a little pink? It's important that you push it all the way until it clicks. That looks good to me. And here's our second gear. Let's use a blue marker. And now we put the gears in this arm to secure it. Time to fill our big gear. So to attach our larger gear, all we have to do is make sure it's touching one of the smaller gears and the side. The three gears are going to be working together to spin our markers. Alright, time for the fun part! Cool! Look at it go! I can't wait to see how this turns out! Oh, it's so colorful! There's not a specific amount of time that it says to leave the machine running, but the longer you leave it, the more bold the colors get. Whoa! I think looking at the marker spin is getting me a little dizzy. I think we can stop it now. And then we just remove the gears. Nice! Look at our design! Wow, I love that middle part! It kind of looks like a flower. Let's try another one! We just lift this up and then slip in another paper. Make sure the papers are in the corners so they're nice and secure. I'm going to do this next one with one gear first so you can see how it works. This gear makes the outer design. And then when we add this gear, it makes the inner design. I think that looks good. Let's just stop it, and then we'll check out our design. Ah, oh, it looks pretty cool, but I think it needs a little bit more. We'll just switch out some of the markers. 